Welcome back to another enriching episode of our motivational podcast series. I'm your host, Susan, and today we have the ever-inspiring Larry Donawan with us. Larry, it's always a pleasure to have you on the show. Thank you, Susan. It's always invigorating to be here and discuss these pivotal themes that shape our personal and professional lives. Absolutely. Today's topic is something I personally hold close to my heart, the role of mentorships. Mentorship has always played a transformative role in many success stories, offering guidance, wisdom, and a safety net to those willing to learn. Larry, when you hear the word mentorship, what comes to mind? Susan, when I think of mentorship, I envision a journey. A journey where knowledge, experiences, and insights are shared between individuals. It's a two-way street where the mentor offers their wisdom and guidance and in return gains fresh perspectives and rejuvenated energy from the mentee. It's a partnership of growth. Beautifully put, Larry. In today's rapidly evolving world, with its myriad of challenges and opportunities, the guidance from someone who's been there, done that, can be invaluable. But it's not just about guidance, is it? There's so much more that goes into this unique relationship. Precisely. Mentorship isn't just about passing on knowledge. It's about instilling confidence, nurturing potential, fostering resilience, and above all, building a bond of trust. It's about recognizing potential in someone and guiding them to realize it themselves. Often, the impact of a mentor goes beyond professional growth, seeping into personal development and shaping the individual's core beliefs and values. Absolutely. Whether it's in the corporate world, sports, arts, or any other field, we hear countless tales of successful individuals attributing their achievements to the pivotal role played by their mentors. But mentorship isn't a one-size-fits. Not at all. Mentorship is a tailored experience. Each mentee is unique, and therefore the approach to guiding them must be customized. A good mentor recognizes this and adapts their guidance to best fit the individual's needs, aspirations, and personality. It's a dynamic relationship that evolves as both parties grow. That's a crucial point. Mentorship is not a static process. It's a continually evolving relationship that requires effort, understanding, and mutual respect. Over the course of this episode, we'll delve deeper into the nuances of this bond, the qualities of a good mentor, and how to make the most out of a mentor-mentee relationship. Stay with us, listeners, as we unravel the profound impact of mentorship on personal and personal and professional growth. Let's delve deeper into the intricacies of the mentor mentee relationship. Larry, can you speak to the dynamics that make this bond special and perhaps different from other professional relationships? Certainly, Susan. You see, unlike other professional connections, a mentor-mentee relationship transcends hierarchical structures or organizational boundaries. It's rooted in genuine care, mutual respect, and a shared commitment to growth. While the mentor offers experience and perspective, the mentee brings curiosity, fresh ideas, and, often, a newer worldview. It's like a symbiotic relationship where both parties benefit and grow together. But for our listeners, especially those who may be seeking a mentor or considering becoming one, what are the qualities they should look for? Great question. Firstly, a good mentor is someone who listens actively. They don't just hear the words. They understand the emotions and motivations behind them. Secondly, they are patient. Real growth takes time, and a mentor needs to recognize and appreciate that. Thirdly, they're transparent and honest, even if the truth is hard to swallow. Constructive feedback is essential for growth. And on the flip side, for someone looking to be a good mentee, what qualities or attitudes should they bring to the table? As a mentee, having an open mind is crucial. It's about being receptive to feedback, being eager to learn, and also being proactive. Mentorship isn't a passive process. The mentee must actively seek guidance, ask questions, and show initiative. Additionally, respect for the mentor's time and wisdom is paramount. It's a partnership, and like any partnership, mutual respect and understanding form its foundation. Absolutely. It's essential to note that mentorship isn't a one-off event, but a continuous journey. There will be successes, failures, moments of clarity, and times of doubt. 
but through it all, the mentor and mentee remain committed to a shared vision of growth. Now, Larry, in your experience as a motivation coach, how has mentorship influenced or even transformed some of the individuals you've worked with? Oh, the stories are countless, Susan. I've witnessed shy, introverted individuals blossom into confident leaders, all because they had a mentor who believed in them when they didn't believe in themselves. I've seen talented professionals who were directionless, find their purpose and carve a niche for themselves under the guidance of a mentor. It's these transformative journeys that underline the profound impact of mentorship. These stories highlight the essence of mentorship. It's more than just sharing knowledge. It's about shaping futures. And while the world around us keeps evolving, the core principles of mentorship remain timeless. In the next segment, we'll discuss some real-life examples and delve into how to cultivate and sustain a successful mentor, mentee relationship. So stay tuned. Continuing from where we left off, let's discuss some real-life examples. Larry, could you share a memorable mentorship story from your coaching experience that left a lasting impact on you? Absolutely, Susan. One story that immediately comes to mind is about a young entrepreneur named Rosa. She had brilliant ideas, but struggled with execution. She had this relentless energy, but wasn't channeling it in the right direction. Rosa started working with a mentor, an experienced business leader named Elena, who had navigated the corporate world successfully for over three decades. And how did their relationship evolve? It was fascinating to watch. At first, Rosa was slightly resistant, thinking she knew the modern business world better. But Elena, with her patience, didn't force her views. Instead, she listened and shared stories from her own journey, subtly weaving in the lessons she wanted Rosa to grasp. Over time, Rosa started to recognize the gold mean of wisdom she had access to. It sounds like Elena used her own experiences as a teaching tool. Precisely. And this is a vital aspect of mentorship. Instead of giving direct advice, Elena shared stories that allowed Rosa to draw her own conclusions. Over time, Rosa's business started to flourish. She became more strategic, learned to prioritize, and managed her team more effectively. The power of storytelling in mentorship, indeed. Absolutely. Storytelling builds a connection. Rosa could see parallels in her journey, and it made the lessons more relatable. Also, through Elena, Rosa was introduced to a broader network, which opened up more opportunities and collaborations for her venture. Networking is another crucial aspect of mentorship, isn't it? Indeed. A good mentor doesn't just offer wisdom and guidance. They often open doors to opportunities that the mentee might not have had access to on their own. And in return, the mentor gets a fresh perspective, new ideas, and the gratification of seeing their mentee grow. It's truly a two-way street. Both parties invest and both reap the rewards. So for our listeners out there who are on the fence about seeking a mentor or offering mentorship, what would you say to them, Larry? I'd say, take the leap. Mentorship is a journey of growth, learning, and mutual respect. Whether you're navigating the early stages of your career, facing a crossroads, or even if you're seasoned in your field, there's always something valuable to gain from this relationship. Embrace the opportunity, and you'll be amazed at where it can lead you. Building on that, Larry, mentorship isn't just confined to the business world. I believe its impact resonates across various fields, be it arts, sciences, sports, or academia. What are your thoughts on mentorship in non-traditional or unconventional fields? You're spot on, Susan. The essence of mentorship, regardless of the field, remains consistent. Guidance, wisdom, and support. Take the arts, for instance. Many successful musicians or artists often credit their growth to mentors who not only honed their skills, but also provided insights into navigating the challenges of their industry. It reminds me of famous mentor, mentee relationships in history. Salvador Dali and Federico Garcia Lorca, or the renowned bond between writer Ernest Hemingway and his mentor, Gertrude Stein. These relationships shaped their careers in profound ways. Absolutely. And it's not just about skill development. A mentor often provides emotional and psychological support. In fields like sports, where performance pressure is intense, having someone to guide you to share their experiences of handling pressure can be a game changer. And what about the mentees who come from backgrounds where they're the first ones venturing into a particular field without any prior family experience or guidance? 
That's an important point, Susan. For first-generation learners or pioneers in their families, mentorship can be even more crucial. They may not have the familial network or know how to tap into. In such cases, a mentor becomes their guiding beacon, helping them charter unknown territories. The mentor's role transcends beyond professional guidance. They sometimes act as emotional anchors for their mentees. It's fascinating how deep and multifaceted the mentor-mentee relationship can become. From sounding boards to emotional pillars, the roles are varied and dynamic. Indeed. And as society evolves, so does the nature of mentorship. With the digital age, we're seeing virtual mentorships flourishing. People connect across geographies, transcending traditional boundaries. It's no longer just about one-one interactions. There are now mentorship platforms, webinars, and online communities dedicated to fostering these relationships. A testament to how mentorship is adapting to contemporary needs. This evolution ensures that guidance and support remain accessible to everyone, regardless of where they are. It truly underlines the universality and timelessness of the mentor, mentee bond. Larry, as we come towards the close of our enlightening discussion, I can't help but reflect on the profound importance of mentorship in all our lives. It's evident that having the right guidance at the right time can make a world of difference. Would you like to share some final words on how individuals can effectively seek out and nurture these invaluable relationships? Certainly, Susan. First and foremost, it's essential to recognize that mentorship is a two-way street. As much as you seek guidance and wisdom from a mentor, it's equally important to be an active, engaged, and responsive mentee. This relationship thrives on mutual respect, trust, and shared objectives. That's an excellent point. It's not about merely finding someone to guide you, but being an equally contributing partner in that journey. Precisely. And for those seeking mentors, start with clarity on what you're looking to achieve. Whether it's skill development, industry insights, or emotional support, being clear about your goals will help you find a mentor that aligns with your aspirations. And always remember, mentorship is not about finding someone who has reached the pinnacle of success, but about finding someone who understands your journey and can provide the guidance you need. A beautifully put perspective, Larry. It's not about the destination, but the journey, and having a guiding hand can make all the difference. To our listeners, whether you're at the beginning of your career, in transition, or at a pinnacle point, consider the value of mentorship. It might just be the catalyst you need. Thank you, Susan. It's been a pleasure discussing this pivotal aspect of personal and professional growth. To everyone listening, remember that in the journey of life, we're both students and teachers. Embrace mentorship in its entirety, and you'll find paths you never knew existed. Beautifully said, Larry. And with that, we wrap up today's episode on the role of mentorship. It's a big thank you to our insightful guest, Larry Donowan, and to all our listeners for joining us. Stay inspired, seek guidance, and keep the flame of learning alive. Until next time, take care and keep growing.